Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. One of the most common questions that we get for the Mila canister vacuum cleaners is, can you upgrade to a HEPA or charcoal filter? So can you upgrade to a higher level of filtration for your canisters? And then how do you do that? So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the steps that you're gonna take to either change your HEPA or charcoal filters, how to properly do that. And then also if you want to upgrade to a HEPA or charcoal filter, how to do that as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so first what I'm gonna show you is just how to replace a HEPA or a charcoal filter on a canister. So it'll be the same for an upright as well. It's just a little bit easier to demonstrate on a canister. So you're gonna have your existing HEPA or charcoal filter installed into your machine. And what you're going to do is you're gonna remove that and we're gonna discard it. So there's a little tab on the front of your HEPA filter. You're gonna pull up and then you're gonna pull towards you. And then this is theoretically your used HEPA filter. You're going to toss that away. You're going to purchase a new HEPA filter, and then we're gonna install that in our machine. So there's little protrusions on the HEPA filter, and those are gonna match little indentations on the inside of your canister body. So line those up, and you're gonna push them back and then down. So you're gonna push the filter back, and then you're gonna press down, and you see, hear a little clicking sound. That means your HEPA filter is installed correctly. And then on the side of your HEPA filter, the front portion, you are going to see a little green button with a triangle in the middle of it. Press that button, that's gonna activate the time release strip on your, HEPA, on your HEPA or charcoal filter. And that is going to activate that horizontal white line. And it's gonna tell you when it's time to change your HEPA filter. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. So this is really helpful. Don't forget to make sure you have a bag installed in your machine. Close it up, you're ready to clean. Okay, so if you're wondering where your motor filter is, if you open your vacuum like you're gonna change your bag, at the base of your bag, and I'm gonna take the bag out just for reference, there's gonna be a pull down grate. It will might be the same color, it might be a different color. This is what houses your motor filter. And that's that little spongy filter that's included with the box of bags. Just make sure to change that filter every four vacuum bags. So to upgrade a Mila to HEPA or charcoal filtration, this will be the same process for both. So you're gonna have your air clean filter pre-installed in your machine. And if you want to upgrade this to HEPA or charcoal, you're gonna need to remove this entire black housing. And how we do that is you're gonna pull up and pull towards you. So you're gonna remove this entire black casing. You're not gonna have any use for this, but I'd still hold on to it just in case um, you forget to purchase another half hour charcoal filter in the future. Always nice to have this and an air clean filter on hand. So then you're gonna have your air clean filter still in your machine, so you're gonna remove this. Once you've upgraded to a half hour charcoal filter, you don't have any use for this, so that's gonna just be stored along with you know, any accessories that you have. So then you're going to purchase the correct HEPA filter or charcoal filter for your machine. And then how you install it, these little protrusions are gonna match the little indents on the inside of your canister body. So you're gonna push it away from you and down. And it's going to be a little bit difficult because they have a rubber seal around them and they want like a very, very secure seal so nothing is escaping your machine. So you're going to push it back and down. There's really no pretty way of doing it, but, and then you have your HEPA or your charcoal filter pre-installed. So just to reiterate, when you upgrade to a HEPA or charcoal filter, you will not be using this fabric filter, this air clean filter anymore. Don't put it underneath, don't put it on top. Just keep one and your housing and if you ever forget to purchase a half or charcoal filter in the future, it's nice to always have like a little plan B. I do also want to mention um, that you, your HEPA filter is gonna be based on time of use. So if you're cleaning a lot more than somebody who's cleaning you know, maybe once or twice a week, or maybe once every other week, um, 
it's all going to be on time of use and that is going to be displayed on your after your little time strip release um, on your HEPA filter. So make sure you're checking this frequently. And once it's full, don't keep using your machine. You always want to make sure that whatever filtration system you're using, you're not over stressing your motor. So if you're vacuuming with a very full HEPA or charcoal filter, you're going to put undue stress on your vacuum's motor. So when you do that, it just kills your motor prematurely. So make sure that once you get, you, once you see that your HEPA or charcoal filter is full, that you are changing it. So how you know which HEPA filter to purchase will be displayed on your user manual or you can look online on our website or give us the call, live chat us, email us. We're always happy to tell you which one you need. There's two different types of HEPA or charcoal filters. HEPA filters are going to be the highest level of filtration you can purchase for your machine. So this is really recommended for asthma or allergy sufferers. And then there's charcoal filters. Charcoal filters have the activated charcoal inside of them. And so this is really good at eliminating um, smells, specifically pet dander smells. So there's two different types of each of these filters. And then there's ones that don't have this little clip and then there's ones that have this clip. So this clip will be for any classic body styles and any upright models, they will all have the clip. If you have a complete or a compact model, you will not need that clip. So complete and compact models are gonna take the HA50 or the AA50 filters. And then um, models like the classic body styles or any upright machine will take the AA30 or the HA30 filters. So you're gonna look for this clip if you have an upright or a classic model. So I know that I only showed you how to either upgrade your filtration system or change out your um, upgraded levels of filtration, your HEPA or charcoal filter on canisters, but these are going to be the same steps for an upright or a stick vacuum in the Mila line. So just so you know, you're going to follow the same steps and have the same little casings on either upright canister or the stick vacuums. If you have any other questions after this video, please feel free to leave us a comment or you can contact us directly um, via email, phone, or the live chat feature on our website. We're always happy to help you troubleshoot, um, figure out which HEPA or charcoal filter you need. We're here to help. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Happy vacuuming.